Do you have a dream but lack more the motivation to pursue it? Was this a story of how a paralyzed girl went on to win a gold medal in the Olympics? In the end, you have to rethink this. I can't do it. A girl was born in a poor home in Tennis at 4 years. She had double pneumonia with scarlet fever, a deadly combination that left her paralyzed with polio. She had to wear a brace and the doctor said she would never put her foot on the earth. But her mother encouraged her. She told her that with God-given ability, persistence and faith, she could do anything she wanted. The girl said, "I want to be the fastest woman on the track on this earth." At the age of 9, against the advice of the doctors, she removed the brace and took the first step which the doctors had said she never would. At the age of 13, she entered her first race and came way way last. After some time, she participated in her second, third and fourth race but came way last. But she didn't lose hope until her day came when she came in first. Then at the age of 15, she went on to Tennis State University where she met a coach by the name of Ed Temple. She told him, "I want to be the fastest woman on the track on earth." Temple said, "With your spirit, nobody can stop you, and for sure I will help you." Her name was Wilma Rudolph. The day came when she was at the Olympics. At the Olympics, you were matched with the best of the best. Wilma was matched against a woman named Juta Hain. She had never been beaten. The first event was the 100 meter race. Wilma beat Juta and won her first gold medal. The second event was the 200 meter race and Wilma beat Juta again and won her second gold medal. The third event was the 400 meter relay and she was racing against Juta one more time in the relay. The fastest person always runs the last lap and they both anchored their team. The first 3 people ran and changed the baton easily. When it came to Wilma's turn, she dropped the baton. But Wilma saw Juta showed up at the other end. She picked the baton, ran like a machine, beating Juta third time. Wilma won her third gold medal. It became history. A paralytic woman became the fastest woman on this earth. at 1960 olympics you see in our life the past can hurt but you can either run from it or learn from it so instead of crying over your failures make them your strengths and give whatever it takes to pursue your dreams thanks for watching stay humble stay blessed